Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and I'm here with Dan Ruder from Upol. Today's video will be the first of a two-part series about Upol's full line of System 20 primers and clear coats. Dan, tell us a little bit more about the System 20 product line. Sure, thanks Jason. The Upol System 20 line of primers and clear coats offer superior performance and suit virtually any shop condition. System 20 primers and clear coats are available in both national rule and low VOC formulations and they conveniently use the same set of hardeners. The first part of the series will feature Upol System 20 high build primer and then the final part of the series I'll focus on our System 20 clear coats. Alright I see. So what can you tell us about the System 20 primer? Our System 20 high build primer offers functionality of three products in one depending on how they're mixed. Mix 4 to 1 for a primer filler. 4 to 1 to 1 for a primer surfacer, or 4 to 1 to 2 to use as a primer sealer. Here's some of our features about our System 20 High Build Primer. It can be used for both spot and large panel repairs. It features excellent build and surface leveling properties. It's easy to sand, either wet or dry. It can be applied directly to metal, unsanded e-coat, properly prepared aluminum, galvanized substrates, and most plastics. It can be tinted up to 10% with a urethane base coat. It's also available in both gowns and quartz. Our System 20 primers are available in black, white, or gray, which is going to be the focus of today's segment. I see. The U-Pole Gray Shade System is an economical tool to achieve specific gray shades of an undercoat. The Gray Shade System helps to reduce the amount of base coat needed to achieve the correct color match for the OEM finish. For purposes of this demonstration, I'll use our System 20 Low VOC White and Black High Build Primers to mix my shade of gray primer. That sounds great. Shall we get on to the demonstration? Sure will. Let's do it. First, I'll clean and degrease my repair panel with Wipe 6 to remove dirt, oil, and other contaminants from the surface. Next, I'll identify the shade of gray I'd like to use. For more information on how to mix your gray shades of primer, please refer to the U-Pol System 20 Mixing Instruction Leaflet, which can be found within the System 20 Primer section of U-Pol. For my demonstration, I've pre-poured some black and white primer in separate containers for a better visual. I'll mix up 100 milliliters of white and 50 milliliters of black for my shade of gray. In this application, I'll apply the product as a primer sealer, mixing it at four to one to two. Then, using a 1.4 HVLP gun, I'll apply two coats of our System 20 High Build Primer with a 10 minute flash time in between my coats. After the primer is dry, I'll apply the base coat. Be sure to follow the paint manufacturer's instructions for proper dry time before clear coat application. After the base coat's dried, we recommend the application of one of U-Pol System 20 clear coats like UP2872V, which will be covered in part two of the series. Dan, that was a really useful demonstration. Where can people learn more information about the System 20 primer system? Sure, no problem, Jason. For more information, you can visit u-pol.com. Fantastic. Dan, I want to thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Jason. Today was the first of a two-part series which focused on U-Pol System 20 High Build Primer Gray Shades. Be sure to catch part two of this series which covers U-Pol System 20 clear coats for the perfect finish. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.